Hello, hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti, and today I'm going to be doing your monthly September reading. And I apologize in advance. I am using a different device because my other one is uploading other videos and I need to keep going. I have already pulled uh, Oracle cards for you guys to get into your energy and beautiful reading coming through. <clears throat> You guys, as I was meditating on your energy and pulling oracle cards, my throat chakra getting all clogged up. So I think that some of you may need to do some clearing of your throat chakra. I have my Archangel Michael uh, candle burning for some extra divine protection. We're going to remove any um, negative energies and entities and any evil eye from your space and mine. Thank you, it is done, it is done, and so it is. All right, my loves, let's get into it. This is the second time I am trying to record this reading. So, first card out, relaxation. Absolutely beautiful. Sagittarius, I think that some of you might have gone through something or gone through, I think, a period of, like, a lot of busyness I am getting here, especially with, like, I'm getting lots of busyness, um, and it's time to just sit back and relax rest enjoy yourself i think you need a break a breather in between things because the next card as well that came out is free spirit absolutely beautiful this is saying i heard let loose um go with the flow spend some time out in nature i heard spend time swimming obviously this is a mermaid deck but um you know possibly spending some time at the beach swimming having fun letting loose let your hair down you know let the wind blow through your hair go with the flow uh, allow the waves to take you so i'm getting lots of beach vibes here just really enjoying yourself relaxing spending time just being that free spirit and i heard as well lighten up You've been taking things way too seriously, working too hard, lighten up, relax, and allow yourself to be free, okay? Next cards we got out was, the first step is taken, you have asked for help. So this is saying, this I heard, you know, um, putting the prayer out into the universe, right? So you guys have maybe been praying, you've maybe been trying to manifest, um, you have put your call out into the universe asking for help, whether it's from source, spirit, God, universe, whatever it is, spirit guides, angels, you have asked for help. You've done it in the, you know, kind of 5D spiritual realm and, um, it's been heard. Okay. So now you can just, you've done the work. Now you can sit back and relax and just be that free spirit. Okay. So you've already taken the first step. You've asked for help. Beautiful. And then we have trust in the wise spirits and your prayer will be answered. You guys cannot make this up. I shuffle the cards. This is saying your prayer is going to be answered. Okay, so guys, this is very much in line with the uh, practices of conscious manifestation. It is putting out your desire into the, well, you have the desire first. Then you put your, you know, um, kind of uh, your well, you put your desires out into the universe. You put your call out to the universe. You put your order in the universe, essentially, right? You make that prayer. You you um, say the affirmations. You visualize. You live in the end result. And then you surrender. You let go. You allow. You relax. You enjoy. You have fun. Having full trust and faith that you took that first step by putting the call out into the universe. And then now... You're trusting, you know, the universe. You're trusting in the spiritual realm, in spirit, in, you know, the divine, uh, the universe. You're trusting that your prayer is going to be answered, that the thing that you have asked for is coming to you, that it is coming to fruition, this manifestation. It's kind of like purchasing something online. You put the order out, you know it's coming, and now you just sit back and relax and have fun and do your thing and enjoy life and do what you need to do and you're not worrying about it right you're just trusting and having faith that it is coming to you okay so this is very much about manifestation um and as well like i said you know some of you really could have been working really hard going through a lot of things and this is saying take a breather take time out you've been too serious we have the ripple effect part of something bigger details are being taken care of okay um so you guys this is kind of like this this is saying trust in the divine trust in you know spirit and you know uh your guides your your spirit team um god your higher self consciousness whatever you believe in 
trust in that because there are things look at the symmetry here there are things happening behind the scenes things happening that you cannot see in the unknown world unseen world there are things happening to bring this into you that you do not currently see it's part of something bigger just remember you've put the prayer out into the universe and now the details are being taken care of you you know don't have to worry about it so as humans we are kind of control freaks we want to be in control we we think we need to do something to have something happen no conscious manifesting is going within you believe it you see it right you put that um a desire out into the universe and then you have trust and faith that it is coming to you okay and that things are happening behind the scenes and you don't have to worry about it okay and then you guys got the sweet water sensuality romance enjoyment fertility and balance what i get with this you guys is that you guys this is like the empress card you guys are birthing you guys are creating this is manifestation right this is you guys creating and manifesting i am getting for a lot of you this could be about romance this could be possibly something creative that you are working on as well this could be this is a lot of feminine energy this is about balancing so some of you need to step more into the feminine energy which is receiving allowing relaxing being the free spirit enjoying don't be so serious be playful right that's this here <clears throat> and then you got let it rain allowing what is inevitability and trust what did i say go with the flow allow let the universe take you where it wants to take you. Let, you know, um, you guys will be shown, you know, kind of the way with synchronicities and, and messages and inspirations and uh, signs and symbols and all that kind of stuff, right? So just relax and have fun in the moment. Trust, trust and have faith and allow, just go with the flow. Allow the universe to take you where it needs to go. Relax, be a free spirit, have fun, enjoy. All right, my loves, absolutely beautiful. Let's get into the tarot here. Let's see what else Spirit has for you. That's just in guidance, please, Holy Spirit, for my beautiful Sagittarius. We're going to do a five card, a simple cross. That's just in guidance. And I heard some of you are really wound up. You just need to, like, surrender let go have faith have trust have fun like you're you're too wound up relax um lighten up i heard okay ace of wands passionate new beginning and you guys the chariot it's happening okay but how do you bring it in confidence queen of wands the queen of wands is dynamic she brings to her she's magnetic she is um divine feminine she's allowing she's receiving okay just put the call out into the universe and then sit back, relax, have fun, enjoy having trust and faith and being open to receiving. Okay. That's what the Empress does, right? The Empress, you know, she creates and then she's abundant. She just allows it to come in. So I'm going to put the cards down here. Mm. Yeah, you guys definitely, um, working on bringing balance into your life okay work on bringing balance into your life and stability will come in so bottom of the deck oh beautiful yeah yeah surrender and have faith okay so five of wands this is inner conflict you guys are holding on really tight let go you need to be open to receive you see how she's so constricted you're holding on so tight allow let go this is the kind of conflict drama chaos that's going on within you what we're aware of temperance you guys can't make this up have patience trust in your guides trust in the divine trust in spirit trust in you know uh god the universe whatever you believe temperance this is also healing but this is alchemy right you know pouring pouring into the two cups alchemy this is being an alchemist this is being like the magician this is knowing how to manifest and create and this is knowing that whatever it is that you want both paths lead to the rainbow lead to success okay having trust and faith having patience as well what we are unaware of is four of swords okay so this is relaxing this is resting this is recovering 
This is trusting. This is hibernating and knowing and trusting and having fun and resting and relaxing while you're waiting for these things to come in. In the recent past, Ten of Wands, what did I say? You guys overwhelmed, burdened, a lot of heaviness, too serious, too many things going on. You guys need a break right now. You need to be a free spirit and you need to relax, okay? Your advice is Ace of Pentacles. What I get with Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles is like a new opportunity. This is planting that seed in your heart. This is that wish fulfillment. This is like the Empress energy. This is creating. This is, um, you know, manifesting abundance. And your potential outcome is the Three of Cups. This for me is my dating card. This is going out and having fun with your friends, letting loose, letting your hair down. Okay, have fun, celebrate, enjoy. This is like partying, drinking, not just that, not that I'm, you know, telling you guys to do that but this you know like I said it could be dating it could be you know just having fun with your friends or family you know just connecting with other people have fun let your hair down let loose relax and clarifying that we have six of pentacles and eight of pentacles this is saying putting in the work into balancing your life to bringing things back into balance this for me is the medicine wheel this is saying all parts of you mental emotional physical and spiritual you need to work on bringing all of those parts to you into balance and then when you guys do that prince of swords king of cups four of pentacles some of you might be getting a message information um from a king of cups male or female doesn't matter we embody both energies about stability for pentacles this could be about commitment uh some sort of you know stability this also could be that this king of cups whoever this is you know somebody who's very you know emotionally stable very nurturing very loving very kind um it could actually have their eye on you be watching you and wanting something stable with you that's you know another message bottom of the deck we have seven of wands and seven of cups 77 could mean something to some of you this is you persevering this is you uh defending yourself defending your dreams this is saying that you guys are really uh, here rising above any obstacles to your dreams this is saying you guys overcoming any kind of confusion caused by what the devil energy any kind of toxic energy so a lot of this has to do with kind of uh, this confusion is coming in from past thoughts beliefs you guys are definitely rising above that because what we have next that we don't see under the deck is queen of cups Ten of Cups and the Hermit. So what I'm getting is for some of you, this Hermit could be a person, this could be you, or vice versa, swap the roles, take it how it resonates. Queen of Cups, um, she's very intuitive, she's very loving and kind uh, and sweet. Um, you know, the Hermit is somebody who's very wise, could be older than you as well. And this is going to be a very blissful kind of happily ever after connection. For others of you, this is you finally loving yourself, getting yourself to a place of bliss, following your North Star, going within and really manifesting and creating the life of your dreams with the star in the lantern there. And I am going to look for the star. Um... Let's see where the star is. Star, 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 star. Because that is what you are trying to manifest and create. Some of you manifesting a relationship to a cup of magician. And the lovers with the star and the six of cups. Oh my goodness, you guys, Sagittarius. Some of you, yeah, definitely, I saw that. So some of you are um, actually, your dream is um, a soul connection, a soulmate. Um, this could be a friendship, but I'm getting lots of, you know, obviously romantic vibes here. And this person, um, some of you want to actually heal a connection from your past. For others of you, this is you dreaming about a past person, could be past life, or just somebody that you met in the past or crossed paths with in the past because we have the star with the lovers and the six of cups. So you guys, this is literally like a spiritual divine union and match. Have fun, enjoy, trust. Many of you, I think, are trying to manifest and create your soulmate. And the universe is saying like, you know, put the call out into the universe, right? Manifest and create, but then let go, relax, have fun, be free spirit, enjoy, you know, um, be happy, do the things that you love, um, you know, take the focus off of you, you know, work on manifesting and creating other abundance in your life 
put the focus onto that have fun have fun you know go out and date you know and this is going to come in for you all right my loves this wish fulfillment of this love this union from the past is coming in just have trust and faith that your prayer has been answered all right my loves absolutely beautiful i had already pulled because i had some time i pulled a final oracle for you from the mystical uh shaman oracle deck and you guys i have not pulled this card actually yet so i'm also going to read from the book as i have for everybody but this is interesting because um with corn i'm getting like harvest i'm just putting my glasses on sorry guys i need to let my eyes rest when i read right now they've been kind of strained so i'm gonna read this to you this is so cool because i haven't pulled this one yet and it says the essence Corn represents the mother of sustenance and tangible abundance. You guys, literally, that is, you know, um, the card that I was seeing here with the Empress energy. That's that. Okay. Um, so, all about abundance and creating. Um, this symbol represents material prosperity in the world of form that provides stability and sustenance to many. There is more than enough. Absolutely. That is literally the Empress uh, energy. The Empress is very abundant, very grounded, very stable, um, you know, very fertile. Everything comes to her. She's creating. So you planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard. You guys cannot make this up. I'm telling you, I shuffled the cards and I have never read uh, this card yet. Um, and you know, you guys put the prayer out into the universe and now you have to have trust and faith it's coming. Like you cannot make this up. <laughs> the corn, even in moments when you were losing faith, you continued. Now the spirit of the corn comes to honor this and show you a bountiful harvest. You guys, it is coming. Your prayer has been answered. I just got spirit chills. Just have fun and relax during this. Be a free spirit. And I promise you this is coming in for you. Okay. This is the time to reap the rewards of hard work and trust, whether those rewards are financial or the kind of prosperity measured in quality rather than quantity. You are so blessed. When this symbol appears, don't forget to share your good fortune. Oh my God, you guys, so much is coming in. Beware of shortcuts to your dreams or a fast track being offered to you now. Be especially mindful of your feelings of entitlement or an expectation to get something for nothing. This is a time for gratitude, perseverance, and humility. Be prepared to work toward your goals and plant the seeds of your intentions consciously and respectfully. Release any insecure thoughts of scarcity, feeling that there is not enough or worry that someone else could take what is yours. That was the five of wands that we saw. So some of you are focusing maybe on lack. Uh, know that the universe will always provide, but you must be in a relationship with it in order to receive. You have to have that trust and faith. You need to be connected to the universe, okay? You need to be connected to your higher self, source, God, whatever it is. And you will reap what you sow. Take heart. Even if you didn't plant well and have conjured up the illusion of a drought, there is always a new season to begin again. Even if you guys think you messed up your manifestations, you didn't. Just get back to it. Reaffirm. Reimagine. You know, see that end result and then just go and have fun. Let loose. Relax. Allow. Trust. Have faith. Look at, you know, you just resting and recovering, enjoying, and know that abundance is coming in for you. All right, my loves, I absolutely love doing this reading for you guys. What beautiful energy for you, Sagittarius. Um, please do all the things, like, share, you know, uh, comment down below. I love hearing from you guys and I respond to all your comments and as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I would love to have you here as part of this ever-growing butterfly family and hit the bell icon button so you get notified of new videos and you guys, you know, I really appreciate you guys by doing any of these things. That is the easiest way to support my channel, help my channel to grow, and also get spirits and messages out there. All right, my loves. So until next time, I wish you all peace, love, and light. Bye-bye.